We've been working with um, the city of Hyattsville to bring these charging stations, the level three DC fast chargers, and level two uh, charging stations. And it's really cool. After about a year of working together, here they are, I'm very excited. Hyattsville is a sustainable community. It's something that uh, we believe in and certainly we think uh, having some EV charging stations is consistent with our, our mission and goals and certainly responsive uh, to the people who live here, work here, and, and want to grab a bite to eat here. We feel that, the, uh, that this no charge to charge model encourages people to adopt electric vehicles and adopt electric drive. The idea of driving electric is now a possibility. Uh, we got this car about a month ago and uh, we were delighted to find the city welcoming us with these uh, EV spots. We actually come here certain days, we make excuses, we're like, hey, do you want to get coffee and maybe like go get some free charging? And we, re we really appreciate it. We see these chargers as a way to be responsive to our consumers, our residents here, uh, visiting, shopping down in Hyattsville, enjoying our restaurants. Certainly having uh, free energy for your vehicle beats uh, having to pay $4 at the pump. A local police department is making history after purchasing an electric cruiser and electric motorcycle for its officers. Well, the reason that the police department decided to get uh, an electric police vehicle is because the city of Hyattsville in general is a, or has been for a long time, a very progressive uh, community that has been working hard to uh, become more environmentally friendly and the most um, obvious way they have done that in the past 10 to 15 years is by reducing the amount of carbon emissions that are spewed from the tailpipes of gasoline powered automobiles. Because we're a, a medium sized city we have a lot of vehicles here used by the city for police, public works, code enforcement, parking enforcement, etc. And uh, in the past uh, 10 or so years, uh, the city has acquired um, several all-electric vehicles. They're called low-speed vehicles that are used by parking and code enforcement. But uh, we have not had anything in the police department specifically um, that was all-electric. And the goal here was to uh, get a all-electric vehicle, turn it into a police car, and see how it would hold up to the rigors of police work and whether or not the range of the uh, charged battery could handle day-to-day -day law enforcement and patrolling of the streets of the city. We're here in Hyattsville, Maryland for the electric car show. Uh, September is the month to, that they uh, really concentrate on electric cars and being green. I have never been in Hyattsville before today, and I think it is fantastic. <laughs> so here's your charger. Why did I get an EV car? Uh, I always liked the idea of not having to use gas. This is my second year being here. I'm very happy. Uh, I, a lot more people this year than last year. It seems to be growing. I think it's fantastic that Hyattsville is putting free electrical chargers in my neighborhood. It speaks well of the Arts District. We're supposed to be sustainability focused or energy efficient community and this just takes it up another notch. These may not have something we got there. Yeah. You're going to see chargers pop up everywhere. I have used the chargers in Hyattsville twice because I come up here occasionally to meet colleagues or friends for uh, brunch, and so I'll pull into the municipal lots and charge my car. Hyattsville has stepped into the 21st century. Hyattsville is recognizing that the world is changing and that they're going to be leaders in this. <laughs>